So Google Docs is a great way for you to store information. It's a great place for your data. It's a great place just to do everything to, for your contracts. Let's say you have a digital product that you'd like to create. And that digital product is going to be a... Um, a list of different tools and, te and tips such as me, right? What I have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually go here and uh, show you what it is, but then I'm going to show you on the other end how to create it. So here's my 20 dope tools, the top 20 list of dope digital media tools that I created, right? So within this, we have video editing, we have um, management tools, social media management tools. We have, and I actually need to update this because there's a lot of them that um, I found even better ones. And I found some that were um, free and then some that cost, but are are well worth your bunnies, well worth your dollars, right? So within this, right, you can take a look at this. All this is is a simple Google Doc. However, if I download it and we go here and we download it as a PDF, and let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if it did it. It should have. Uh, let me make it there. It is. Uh oh, let me shrink this. And people are ringing my doorbell. So I have children, so my apologies in advance. Here's a PDF. And this PDF is totally something that you can just give over to uh, the individuals who opt in, that sign up, so on and so forth. It's all here listed. Everything's there for you. So let me show you really quickly how we created this uh, digital product. And this is actually something that could be sellable because what we could do is we could actually link to different videos and things to that effect that we can sell here as well. So it's a really great way for you to create a digital product without having all the hassle and bustle, hustle and bustle of having a, an online course or online structure, paying out monies for you know different softwares and things that affect you. Actually, can just use a Google Doc or um, Apple Pages if you have access to Apple Pages. But I understand that not everyone has a Mac. So if you have a, a computer at all, or even if you have a cell phone, you can create a digital product with Google Docs. So within that, let me show you how we did this. What we did is we just use this template here. And so this template that we use, we went in and we just really took some of this stuff out and put our stuff in. <laughs> That's essentially all that we did. That is it. We went in and we placed the links. I went and did research. I actually had a VA that helped me with a lot, some of the research here as well. Or actually, she didn't help with the research. I actually did all the research myself. However, she went in and she put in some screenshots and she just wrote out a detailed description. I am not the writer. That's not me. Not me. Nah. So <laughs> what I did is I just went in um, and like I said, yeah, design's not my thing either. So I just put in a little picture here. A little picture here with some wrap text or inline text, excuse me, placed in the name of it that I wanted to call it and then just had her kind of format it a little bit better for me. So it looked a little bit cleaner and simpler. And so within that, um, all you have to do is do it. It's the same thing for you. So if you're looking to create a digital class or do a digital product, this is a great, great way for you to do so. So let me just show you really quick how we hyperlink these. And with a hyperlink, so let's say you don't know what a hyperlink is. Let me tell you. So a hyperlink is where you can actually go and highlight what you have and then link it to another place. So let's say we want to go to my website, which is jawspeaksdigital.com. Once again, that's jawspeaksdigital.com. Once again, that's jawspeaksdigital.com. So <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with self-promote. Uh, let's say you want to go to jawspeaksdigital.com, or I want people to go to, excuse me, jawspeaksdigital.com. So what I could do here is I would highlight this link, uh, just copy it. I want to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight highlight this, plus the link button, and I'm just going to link it here. So of course, I probably want to change that to say something like visit my website, right? Visit my website. So visit my website. If someone goes there, they click here, and they're going directly to my website. So this works great as well. We are here on YouTube, and you're watching me on YouTube. If you have a YouTube video, and the way that you would do this is you would pretty much just go ahead and go to YouTube. You would upload whatever your video is. So for instance, I'm going to just upload something that I have um, already on my computer just so you guys can see. 
Um, I'm just going to pick something and I'm not going to post it. I'm going to show you guys how you can hide your content behind the screen. And so you can go in, post it. The only people that that will be able to see it are the individuals with the link. Now, does this open you up to people sharing the link potentially? Yes, but at the same time, you know, we're going to go on the honor system a bit. I think really truthfully, anything and everything, there is a way to steal it and take it at some point. You just want to try to look at the positive side and, and hopefully your audience is very honorable and they wouldn't do that to you because they like you enough. They know, like, and trust you enough to not do that to you, right? So let's just keep it at that. So we are going to go here. Let's go with some content that I have here. Yeah, let's go with this video. So we're going to upload that video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and title it whatever we want the section of our, let's say we're doing an a easy tutorial type course, whatever we, we want to call it. So let's say I wanted to take the dope tools, but then I wanted to also show you how to utilize the dope tools. So we're going to put how to use dope content tools. All right. So go there. We're going to wait for that to finish up. It's almost done. We're going to make sure that we take where we want it to be listed and we're going to place it as unlisted. All right. So it's unlisted. We're almost done. It says it's finished. We're going to go ahead and go there. And we are pretty much done. Of course, I have a little bit of scrolling on my end uh, just because my computer's running a little bit slow. But we're going to take this. We're going to copy it. And like I said, we're going to just pretend as though this is a um, 20 dope tools how to use it course. This is a, a simple online digital course, right? We're, uh, we're pretending. And we're going to go ahead and link and maybe this will be a um, overview of the course. We're going to act like I typed in some stuff there. And this is class number one. So class number one. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put a little bit about the class, and we're going to hyperlink this there. We're going to place in the link to YouTube. And now we have a full-blown on digital product that we can sell. Of course, you probably want to put some more effort into it, right? But <laughs> for this particular tutorial video, this is how you can really use Google Docs. Now, how do we sell this, right? That may be a question you may have in your mind right now. How in the heck would I sell this now? So... We're going to pretend I went through, I filled this all out. Um, you know, let's say, um, I'm going to show you guys really quick because this is important, how to place in an image. So I'm going to take this. We're going to click on it. Uh, the image information is going to come up here. This is where you change it, but we're going to go here to replace and upload from computer. I'm going to find an image that I have in here of a, I know I have something of a computer. Uh, okay, let's use my computer lady. All right, and boom, that is how you replace the image because you definitely want to personalize it and make it your own. Now, let's say you want to change this out or even just delete it, delete it, take it out, place something else in here, play around with it a bit um, really quickly here. I can show you just two quick ways to uh, personalize this. We want to go into format, headers and footers, um, oh, excuse me. We're going to click on it. Oh, there it is. We're going to go to insert and then we're going to go to uh, image. I believe it is. No, it's drawing. Excuse me. Drawing. And then here is where you're going to insert your image that's going to go on that bottom border. Now, of course, I'm not going to walk you through how to do all this good stuff right now. I'm just going to use what I already have here and you'll pretty much get the gist. Maybe I'll do something. If you guys want me to do something more in detail where I walk you through step by step, just comment and below let me know and I'll do that but for right now I'll just show you how to get the uh, digital product together here all right and then so now we're gonna just move this down some we're gonna wrap text and move that up a bit and of course like I said just using things that I already have in my computer but now that should we can just populate that. We can go through and populate it on all of the pages to have a clean and simple personalized look. So now how do we sell this thing, right? How do we sell this digital product that we created? Like I said, we're imagining all of this is filled out. We have links to different courses and different videos that we have. So now you're going to take it. You're going to go to file, 
download as PDF. We're going to save this as a PDF. We, we'll, of course, probably want to change the name before we do that. So let's do that really quick here. 20 dope tools how to use, oh, spell two right, use it, of course. That's the name of my course, 20 dope tools how to use it, of course. <laughs> so with that, we're going to go to, we're going to go into file. Download as PDF, and we're going to wait for that to download. I have a great tool that I love to use, which is Iquid. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to Iquid, and we're going to upload it. And I will have a separate video showing you how to use Iquid, but you just go to Iquid, you log in, and you upload it and sell it here.